service the system. So really it's just production. It's all about numbers, you know, anything besides that doesn't matter. Hey, what's going on people? Your boy, man, Mike, coming at you guys with yet another Atlanta Falcons video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Tell your friend to come chat Falcon football with your boy. But this is a mock draft from Charles McDonald's of Yahoo Sports. You you want to check it out for yourself. You can see the the mock draft in the pinned comments. Um, I have the link for you guys right there so you can check that out. But he has the Atlanta Falcons taking uh, Tyree Wilson, all right? And you know this with the kids. No team has fewer sacks than the Atlanta Falcons over the past two seasons. Their pass rush has been the issue for almost a decade now, and it's time to get serious about fixing it. Wilson is a freak athlete who can play a couple of positions on the line, but he'll make his money on the edge in the NFL. And quite frankly, um, at this point in time, I think the Atlanta Falcons have to go all out. Um, I think this is where they have to double up and probably the first two or three rounds. So I have no issue with you know, the Falcons taking Tyree Wilson at this point. So let me know what you guys think about that. But this is my particular uh, mock draft. And this is just the first two rounds. All right, the first three rounds. The first pick that I had is Miles Murphy. Now, Miles Murphy is a guy that goes the same size about Tyree, uh, the Tyree Wilson, he's about 6'6", 275 pounds, and he's one of those guys that can play inside, outside. So I think this pick for the Atlanta Falcons is going to be able to, you know, have them mix and match. You got a guy like Grady Jerry, he can play inside, outside. You can do the same thing with Miles Murphy, inside, outside. So I have the Falcons taking him with the A pick. Um, the second pick for this particular draft is done in Washington. Now, a lot of people are wondering why in the hell would I be taking a tight end at in the second round? Well, quite frankly, I think when you look at what the Atlanta Falcons have, you have a wide receiver in Drake London, a big target, 6'4", 220 pounds. You have a tight end in Kyle Pitts, who has the unique ability to play inside and outside with his size and speed. Um, I think the Falcons, with the quarterback, Desmond Ritter. Desmond Ritter has already shown the ability and um, to throw the tight end. So he loves his big guys. He loves the tight ends. Um, and having a guy like Donnell Washington will allow the Atlanta Falcons to use Kyle Pitts more as a wide receiver so he can take advantage of these smaller cornerbacks. And I think Donnell Washington, with his ability to not only um, play as a tight end, but he's an excellent blocker. That's just uh, what they do at the University of Georgia. You have to be able to block as well as you receive. And I think Donnell Washington will fit in perfectly with the Atlanta Falcons. Now, Jack Campbell was a guy, you know, for the most part, when you look at this Atlanta Falcons team, um, they don't have a linebacker locked up for the future outside of Troy Anderson. Still question marking whether or not um, – Rashawn Evans is going to come back. So having a backup plan for not only Jack Campbell, um, for not only Troy Anderson and Rashawn Evans, but Jack Campbell can be that guy that you can slowly bring along and, you know, hopefully put him in a position where he can be the second guy behind Troy Anderson. I think Troy Anderson is the, the future for the Atlanta Falcons and, the Falcons could quite possibly be looking to bring in a younger guy to be, you know, that 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 guy behind Troy Anderson. So let me know what you guys think about this draft, um, this mock draft. Leave your comments below if you want to check out PFF uh, Mock Simulator. You can do so. I have the link to that as well. So let me know what you guys think about this. This has been your boy, man, Mike. I'm out of here, man. Peace.